welcome to this webcast on uh, Field of View. Uh, my name is Peter Brissett and just going over some uh, basic information, my contact information. If you have questions uh, about this is peter at gspamerica.com. Today we're talking about Field of View and Focal Lengths. So real quickly what we're going to do is try, try to give you a basic understanding of Field of View calculations in relation to focal length of lenses. We're going to talk about what it is, how to calculate it, and uh, we'll give you some examples of a field of view calculator. So first of all, what is field of view? Well, the FOV is the total height and width of the view seen through the lens. It's also referred to as the angle of view or the angular field of view. The angular field of view is stated in horizontal and vertical degrees. Degrees of what? Glad that you asked. So when we talk about the angular field of view, um, we're talking about uh, the, the uh, arc of a circle and the angle that is created from uh, that view. So that's why it's referred to as an angle. A circle is 360 degrees. Uh, this uh, particular picture we're looking at, uh, the dark blue there is 43.6 degrees. So you would say that this angle of view in this particular case is 43.6 degrees. Uh, linear field of view is actual um, measurement in feet and inches. So the horizontal field of view is the width of the view in uh, feet and inches. The vertical field of view is the height of that view. And the overall field of view is a combination of the horizontal and the vertical field of views. Here's a little picture just to show you horizontal is width, vertical is the height. Um, so part of this calculation we have to, when we're talking CCTV cameras and uh, security video cameras, uh, the, uh, the chip size, the sensor size that's used in the cameras varies uh, by camera manufacturer. Uh, most cameras, when we talk about GSP America, are going to be one third inch in size. So the actual dimensions of that are 4.8 by 3.6 millimeters. Uh, and uh, you can see here are some different sizes that are, that are available out there in chip sizes. Um, this is what we're going to talk about mostly today is one third inch in size uh, CCD sensor. Here's just a quick chart so you can kind of get an uh, overview and uh, understanding of the, the difference in uh, uh, your degrees of view as opposed to the size of the lens. So here's a 50 millimeter lens that gives you a horizontal degree of view of 5.5 degrees. Uh, so at 25 feet you would be able to see 2.4 feet. At 50 feet you would see 4.8 feet wide. At 100 feet you would see 9.6 feet wide. On the other end of this we have 2.6 millimeters. So this would be a very wide angle of view be 85.42 degrees. At 25 feet I'd be able to see 46 feet. At 50 feet in distance I'd see 92 feet wide. At 100 feet in distance I'd see, be able to see 184 feet wide uh, with that size of lens. So that gives you an idea of the uh, lens sizes in relation to degrees of view and distance. Here's just kind of a visual example of that. These aren't exact but just to give you an idea, here's a 13.3 degree field of view. It's a 25 millimeter lens. The sign is 65 feet away. You can see what that looks like. As we uh, move to a wider field of view, here's 12 millimeter. Still the sign is 65 feet away. Here we are, same sign at 6 millimeters. 53 degree field of view. Sign is still 65 feet away. And here's a 92 degree angle of view or field of view. That's a 3.6 millimeter lens, and again, the sign is still 65 feet away. So you get an idea of how uh, the uh, lens is affected. Well, how is it calculated? We need to know a couple of different things so that we can uh, actually come up with uh, the right uh, numbers. So obviously, we need to know the uh, chip size. We talked about the uh, different chip sizes. We use a 1 3rd inch chip size in the GSP America cameras. The focal length of the lens. Uh, such as 9 millimeters, so it could be a fixed lens, which is uh, a fixed board lens. Typically, you might see a 2.6 or a 4 millimeter fixed lens. Fair focal meaning you can manually adjust uh, between a range of like 4 to 9 millimeters, 
and you can manually adjust that. It stays set, uh, but you manually adjust it. A zoom would be uh, on a PTZ, a pan, tilt, and zoom camera, where you can actually take a joystick, like you see pictured here, and uh, can control the camera and do a zoom in and out on the camera. We need to know the distance to the object in the scene, and we know the width of the object scene. So I need to know uh, about the one-third chip, so we kind of are using that as our standard, so we've got that fixed. Now I either need to know the millimeter of the lens, or if I know the distance or the width of the object, uh, I can be able to uh, calculate this. All right, so we'll look at some exam examples. Distance to the object is 80 feet. View of a car, let's say. Um, we're going to try to get 10 feet wide. Okay, what's my field of view? All right, we're going to switch over here to our field of view calculator, the GSP field of view calculator. And uh, so we got 80 feet. And we want to see 10 feet wide. So you need a 38.4 millimeter lens. So let's just throw in 38.4. So you can see that's going to give you a 7.15 horizontal degree of view. That's the width uh, that you're going to be able to see. Again, this is based on a 130 inch uh, CCD chip size and uh, with a uh, 38 millimeter lens. Okay, there's also an easy calculation that you can do if you know uh, it's basically going to be the distance divided by the width times the format of the CCD. Again, ours is uh, a 4.8 millimeter wide uh, on the horizontal uh, for uh, the 1 3rd inch chip size. So if you know the chip size you're using in the camera, you can do this calculation. So you take 10, uh, or you take 80 feet as the uh, distance divided by 10 times 4.8 gives you 38.4. Very simple, easy way to uh, calculate that if you're out in the field and don't have access to an online calculator or a little uh, wheel, um, the manual wheel. Uh, W-H-E-L um, uh, calculators that you're able to uh, to make the calculations. And that's it. What is field of view? Field of view is the total height and width of the view seen through the lens. It's calculated by distance divided by width times the device size. And we'll give the example of a field of view calculator. So any questions, please send me an email, peter at gspamerica.com. Be glad to uh, answer any questions that you might have. Thank you and have a great day.